Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Foolery, and today we're checking out the DC Multiverse Captain Carrot. Is he as cool as Bugs Bunny? I don't know. Stay tuned and find out. Captain Carrot. I was not familiar with this character when it was announced. I was like, is this like a parody of Bugs Bunny? Um, and I instantly had like remembering Bugs Bunny as Superman and Daffy Duck as Batman and things of that nature. I was like, oh, that's super cool. There's a character like that. Nope. Captain Carrot it is a um, parody of the Justice League, but not like from the point of view of uh, Warner Brothers, but an actual DC character who is basically uh, similar to the Farmhouse uh, Avengers that you know that Spider Ham is a part of. This is DC's version of it. So I got this character because I thought he looked really cool. I don't have any expectations for it. So let's already let's check out the box and see if it's better than your mom's. This box better than the box he was held in. I have the McFarlane Collection Edition. There's another edition that looks closer to this artwork with uh, pupils that makes them look more like the cartoon um, that is in the comic, the comic book version versus this stylized McFarlane version. I did not get that version. I was not lucky enough to get it. Um, we have a photo in the back, no information on Captain Carrot. Um, we have Captain Carrot on the side and this. This is a trash box. I don't I don't know McFarlane. If I can get more accessories and better boxes, I will gladly pay an extra three or four bucks. Apparently when we do pay the three or four bucks, we do get that. I'm let's do that more often because there's no reason for this to be so lackluster. So let's open the box and hopefully this is not as disastrous as a lot of the McFarlane toys I've been opening recently. Oh, what's in the box? So in the box, we get Captain Carrots. We get a flight stand. We get this cool stand for the card, which I don't know why I need it because who in their right mind keeps these McFarlane cards? If they did, they would be able to have a awesome collection of cards. And I, we collect toys. Maybe some people collect cards and toys. I don't know. They seem separate. We get one flying hand, two flying hands, an extra fist, and a thumb. On him he has a pointing hand and a semi-open hand. I think the flight stand makes up for any lack of accessories. I really do appreciate the hands where I'm pretty sure these are unique. I'm not sure of many DC characters that only have three fingers and a thumb. So kudos to them for actually making new toys. I mean new accessories for him. Uh, Mills might have shot you because who the hell wants this card stand? But the flight deck is a nice touch and the fact that we have alternate hands is really cool. I really wish we uh, didn't have to buy two separate figures to get the cartoony head, but um, that's fine. I really do appreciate the, the accessories in this box. Not the greatest, but not something I would got you shot. So hooray for that. Now let's check out the design. So. The reason why I'm keeping the card up is because that's the reference that I'm going to use because I don't know this character and this is not really the design. As, even if you look at the the design in the card and here, you can see that there's some real differences between the card, uh, the card, the comic, and this, uh, specifically in how the characters are designed. The C is the same, but the carrot looks more stylized on the toy. There's a pattern. Um, on the actual costume but for the most part it matches the artwork so the design is fine but some things that i really do appreciate on this if you look at the way the texture on the fur on his face is phenomenal he looks grizzled 
I don't know if that was the look that it was originally meant for the character. I was assuming that he was supposed to be a furry character and not grizzled, but that's fine. Um, we get uh, the texture on the fur is actually phenomenal. The cape is textured. That's really good as well. Um, the the way that the, the same kind of uh, stacks uh, design that you see in the carrots translates into the boots into the uh, the knee guards so this is actually a really well designed toy I'm not much like once again I don't know the source material so I can't say that yay or nay on how much better it's supposed to look but this toy actually looks really good I like this color scheme um, and it matches the the toy so let's see if this bad boy can squat. So one of the cool things that I noticed when I was doing playing around with the toy is that the ears are art articulated. Not much, but it does allow some motion, which is really cool. You can look up this much, which sucks because you gave me flying hands. I would expect his neck to give me a little bit more give so they can actually look up. Um, he cannot, this is the first thing to look up, but he can look down pretty well. He has um, some uh, butterfly joints so he can actually get some decent range on his shoulders. He has bicep swivel, double jointed uh, elbows, a swivel on his wrists. No thigh cut, but, and I'm gonna stretch it whenever I try to do that. I do, I hate these plastic diapers. Just cut out all this extra stuff, hide the scope. Is his tail articulated? Nope, it's connected to the diaper. His tail is connected to the diaper. Boo. Um, double jointed knee. No swivel in the thigh, like I said. Swivel in the foot, pivot in the foot, and he has toe articulation. So, in theory, he should be able to get into a superhero landing pose. Um, the die cut is going to be a problem, but with the elbows, he should be able to. Let's see. One second. And not the greatest landing pose fairly decent um as you can see uh the torso doesn't allow him to get down but his knee is touching the ground uh the other arm is not going to reach because of the way the abdomen is set up especially with this weird d rubber diaper they have on him so he won't be able to get further down than that and his head won't be able to either he can look down so he can look like he landed and that's a cool shot. So I guess that's that's your win. It's not necessarily a full blown uh, win, but you can get into a position you need. And of course, without the diaper on, he could squat. He's not hindered by his cape. It's not too long. Is this? It, and it's a little bit more pliable than we normally get. So he can get out the way of him doing his positioning. Um. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, I really hate these rubber diapers they put on them. It limits their motion. As you can see, I'm stretching the hell out of it. Um, you can see it's, it's stretched out from me doing that. So yes, he could get into a squat position, but that diaper is going to get obliterated if you try to get him any deeper. His chest won't let you move into a, a proper squat position, neither can his head. So he can get into pretty close to what you need. Uh, you would need a little bit more flexibility in the diaphragm, a little bit more flexibility in the legs to get into a full-blown uh, superhero landing. So that's it's not too bad. Not the worst. I've seen way worse from McFarlane and from uh, Marvel Legends and how well they articulate. This is actually a really good figure for articulation, um, especially for a bulky character. You can get into pretty dynamic poses. Um, so let's do some size comparisons before we get out of here. Here is Captain Carrot next to Man Cake. As you can see, Captain Carrot is towering over Man Cake. Not even close. Let's see what else I have by the grab. Okay. Here is Captain Carrot next to Razorback. Not quite so much towering over him. Uh, still big, but not towering over him. Oh, let's see, I got him. Uh, old school Marvel Legend. Not not towering over him. 
they used to prices for toys were so much different because for thirty dollars I got this and an accessory, and you can see a much bigger toy. The articulation on him is crap, but it's a much bigger toy. Anyway, and let's look at how he stacks up next to Superman and Steel. He is the same height as Steel, but uh, a little bit wider. And for Supes, he is a little bit bigger than Superman in all aspects. He's a little bit wider and a little bit taller. I wonder if they're going to use super, put Superman on this body mold because I don't see why not. Just change out the, the hands. It's a really good body mold for a really big superhero. This thing is, if you can get it firsthand before it gets to the secondary market, it's only 25 bucks. Is it worth 25 bucks? No. I, I think that the flight stand does not justify it going up to $25. I guess this is uh, McFarlane's way of easing us up to a higher price than what we would normally have. But um, it's a really good figure. The sculpt on it is amazing. The designs on it is amazing. It has fairly good articulation. I think the only problem is, is that I'm really not a fan of these uh, rubber diapers they're putting on them. It makes it hard for them to move. Um, I'd rather them cut the diaper up and give me the range versus trying to hide the sculpt and the, the movement. But otherwise, I say go get it. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I don't think anyone's a fan of Captain Carrot, but this is a awesome looking toy. It's just something you should probably have on your shelf, especially if you're a fan of Superman. Add them to your, your uh, rebirth of the reign of the Superman. Add it to that, uh, that collection, that shelf on your, in your collection. Or add him to your eyeball shelf. You won't be disappointed. This is a really good toy. I'll catch you in the next video. Take Face McGee out.